Today, we're going to be looking at Flux Point One Context, which is a brand new model for image generation. Now, one of the best things about this is you can actually really easily edit your images and it's absolutely wild how good this is, right? So as an example of this, if we have a look at this image, I literally took a image of myself, which you can see right here. And I said, add sunglasses to this man. And the AI just added it in instantly. Now, this is huge because if you compare the differences of this versus the image editing capabilities of something that was impressive when it first came out, like for example, ChatGPT, you can see how the face just looks a lot weirder. So for example, like it just doesn't look realistic once we've ad edited the image directly on ChatGPT. Whereas for example, inside Flux, we can pretty much instantly edit the sunglasses on this person, change whatever we want. It's really easy. So for example, if we go inside the chat here and we're using Flux context, like you can see, we can sc scroll down and then we can say, okay, make this man's suit green and it will start doing it. Now, if we go into chat GPT and we'll compare the output side by side. So we'll wait for that to load. You see how quickly that's come back to us really fast. Now, if we compare that to ChatGPT, ChatGPT totally failed, right? It didn't even come back to us with an image. So we said, make this man's suit green and said, sure, here's the image. And it literally just didn't attach anything. Now, if we change that to GPT 4.0, I'm going to edit that and we'll try again on that, see if it can do it. But you can see how much slower ChatGPT is for editing. And also it'd be interesting to compare the outputs. So we can see the original there, the second output there, the third output there. We can download this as well. So if we download that image and then we open up. We've got the image right there and it still looks quite realistic, really. It's a little bit pixelated, but we could get better quality on that. But look how long ChatGPT is coming back to us with. Like it's taking absolutely ages. Now, the way that I'm using this is with something called openart.ai. If you want to get access to all this stuff, all the video notes from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. And inside here, you'll get a full SAP on using Flux, plus 100 different examples of how you can use it in different prompts and that sort of thing. So if you want to steal this stuff from me, you can directly inside the AI Success Lab. And again, look how long ChatGPT is taking versus using Flux context. And now you see how like the person's face is just a little bit weird. It will get weirder and weirder every time you edit this, right? So if we open this one up and then if we download this and we'll compare them side by side. So this is ChatGPT's output and this is the output from OpenR using Flux Context. And you can see the difference in quality, right? Look how weird the face is. If you want to quickly edit an image, this one is just going to get less and less realistic. Even like the proportions of the image just look a little bit weird. And this one as well, like even the colors that's used on the suit, they just look a lot more vibrant and interesting. And even it's got the aperture there. So it's unfocused on the arm, but then focused on the body and the face. So the outputs are huge and the speed difference is huge as well. And so if you're generating images now, I would genuinely recommend like using something like Flux Context especially if you're editing images with AI. It seems to be way faster using this. And again, I'm using this for free on the trial credits, so you can actually get free access to Flux as well if you're using OpenArt AI. There are a few other options as well for generating outputs with this. So, for example, you can see directly inside Leonardo.ai as well, you can use Flux One Context. So you can just click on the drop down here and then go to Flux Context. You also get an option of all of these different models, but obviously this is the latest one. You can use GPT hyphen image one as well, but I just think Flux Context is going to be better. And to get access to that, you just go to Leonardo.ai, go to image, and then you can generate your images like you can see right here. And again, I'm on the free plan, so I can use this for free. Additionally, the other way you can use this is inside Playground. So Flux Playground, you can edit images, change Im images, etc. So if we have a look at some examples, you could say, okay, camera is closer to the cat who's now looking at the camera. And then instead of zooming in on this person, it zooms in on the cat, like you can see. Right? The image is really cool. Here's another example. So style the lizard as woven out of string or yarn. And then it actually does it. And for editing images, this is like Photoshop on steroids, basically. Like it's so easy to just edit an image and change it quickly. 
Now, also what you can do is you can fill. So let's open this up. You can fill and you can expand images to any size too. And then you can generate images directly here as well. And here's some examples of what it's built. So like even for example, art for a magazine cover or something like that, you could easily build that out. And some super surreal stuff here as well, like a giant ball made of, of fluffy pandas rolling through the street. Now, if we actually take that image, we'll try and generate the same thing inside ChatGPT as well. So let's grab that image over here. And then we'll go over to ChatGPT. Use exactly the same prompt to see what we get back. And we'll wait for that to load. And by the way, if you want to get the API for Flux, you can get that inside foul.ai, foul.ai. It allows you to build like AI agents with the API and you can get Flux and Kling and image generation, video generation, all directly inside there, along with audio too, which is pretty cool. Cause then, you know, you can plug them into your NA10 AI agents and build whatever you want. As an example of that, if you go over to the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description inside this community, you can join here and if you type in reels, for example, inside the AI Profit Boardroom, go to the classroom section here. And then if we look at this viral reels workflow that you can actually download the template of right here. This actually used a version of Flux to generate images and then turn them into reels. So if we open this up, this is using Flux to generate these videos. And basically what it does inside the NA10 workflow is it grabs the API from file, generates a prompt, then generates the image and then uses Kling to take that image and generate it into video. And then it stitches all of them together inside the workflow. It's pretty crazy. So if you want to get that stuff, it's inside the AI Profit Boardroom. But my point here is that with the API from Context, from Flux, you'll be able to build some crazy stuff, like super hyper-realistic stuff. And that's inside the chat option here. So it's really cool. You can go inside the edit section as well here. And there's all sorts of stuff. But I think from what I've seen, the chat version is the best so far. So if we pull this up, this is the version that we get back from chat GPT 4.0. And if we compare that to flux, the difference is a night and day, right? This is just so much better than chat GPT's output. And bear in mind, what we're looking for is not just optimizations in terms of quality, but also speed, right? So for example, if by default chat GPT 4.0 is generating like cartoon style images, then we have to go back and we have to edit it. We have to ask it to be photorealistic, etc. Whereas Flux is boom, here you go. Here's your giant fluffy ball of pandas. I'm going to say now inside ChatGPT, make it photorealistic, but you get the point. Like the outputs from Flux are a lot more realistic, a lot more interesting. I don't know if it's still the case, but also Grok was using Flux as well to generate images. And I think with the context one version as well, like the images have just leveled up so much. Here's another example. If you saw that on social media, would you be able to tell the difference? Probably not, right? Let's take this one. So we'll grab that problem and we'll run that through chat GPT and just compare them side by side. See what we get back. So it's generating the image now. This image is not photorealistic at all, is it? It still looks a bit cartoony. I don't know why chat GPT does that. It still looks better than the first version, but the image generation from Flux is still better, right? If we go on to this example, so this is ChatGPT versus Flux context. You see how much more vibrant the image is right here? This one just looks a lot more interesting. It's going to capture people's attention on social media if you're generating images or videos with this directly way faster. And the other cool thing we can do here, if you want to take this to a whole new level, is you can actually download the image like you can see. So we've got the PNG ready to go. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go over to clingai.com and we can actually generate a video based on the image, right? And then if you combine Kling and Flux together, it's insane. So if we go over to video section here, we'll upload the image that we just generated. There we go. And I'm going to say guy goes crazy at a rave with AI robots in a dark, dingy basement dance floor. Then has a dance off, something like that, right? We'll generate the image. It usually takes about, I would say, three to five minutes to generate images and videos based on this. But basically what I'm trying to show you here is like, 
you can get the images directly from Flux, then you can upload them to Kling and you can create like some crazy stuff because the images are just so hyper realistic, right? And you see inside by side how different they are. So for editing images quickly, for getting outputs quickly, for turning images into videos, I would genuinely say that Kling 2.1, sorry, that Flux Context Pro is just absolutely insane. It's insane how good it is. These are some examples of how Clean can create videos, but they weren't generated with Flux. Yeah, that's basically it. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to get all the resources from today, the examples of different websites I've used, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab link in the comments description. We've also got a full SAP on how to use Flux Context Pro and additionally 100 different prompts that you can steal from me to learn how to use Flux and test it out and that sort of thing. So if you want to get, this is an awesome community with 8,400 people. You can post in the community. We're giving away free AI trainings every single day, as you can see. And also inside here, there's tons of different trainings. Now, if you want to get all of this stuff customized to you, your business, if you want to get coaching, if you want to get help, support, etc., feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This basically shows you all the concepts that we've talked about but puts them into a context where you can learn how to make money and monetize and grow your business with them, right? And save time, which is what really matters, right? It's all fun and games, creating videos with images and that sort of thing. But what you really want to know is like, how can you monetize this? How can you use it to save you time or scale your business and that sort of thing? And that's exactly what we teach inside the AR Profit Boardroom. Also comes with weekly custom videos directly from me. And additionally, if you post inside the community here, we'll get back to you as soon as we can, try and help you out as much as we can as well. And then additionally, if you want to get a free AI automation session, feel free to get that link in the comments description and you can book in a free consultation call, ask us any questions. And then if it makes sense for us to work together and implement something for you, we're happy to do that too. So feel free to book that in, link in the comments description. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.